redemption. 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 Redemption, motherfuckers. Hello, everybody. I'm back. I'm back! I am back, everyone, for Redemption on Rotten or Fresh, Episode 5! I've been invited back to return. First off, Ryan and Cody, thank you so much for having me back on this Redemption episode. The main question I want to know is, why did Ryan even invite me to come back here? I don't want to embarrass you guys. I competed on Episode 1 of Rotten or Fresh, and I missed out on the finals by one question. And that question will go down in infamy as the departed question. It was a rigged match, okay? All I know is that I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat all of you guys. You guys don't scare me, okay? On episode three, Mr. Zach Pope beat me in sudden death by one goddamn percent, and I'm back. I'm back for blood. I know I did awful in the first game, and all of us completely got destroyed by that cheat and that hack, Tyler Tompkins. I made it to the final round of the competition and I missed two animation questions and one about Disney. I'm not just facing three contenders, I'm facing five contenders. Autumn Dolly from Almost Sideways, Rachel Wagner, you guys think you have what it takes to go up against me? Guess again. And yes, there's some great competitors here, they're gonna stand a chance against me. Today's competitors, I like most of you, I follow most of you, I'm friends with some of you, but you all are going down. It's redemption. We're all out for blood, and I want it the most. I've studied my heart out, and I'm ready to do this. What, what do I have to gain from it? I have nothing to gain from making you guys look like a whole bunch of losers. I mean, hey, 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 hey. No hard feelings. See, my problem the last time was I didn't study. I now have been studying. Rotten Tomatoes. I've been training harder. I've been studying tape of their matches, seeing their weaknesses. Y'all should be ready, because I will be ready. And I'm here to take all these players the fuck and I deserve this, and I will take it. Because I've got the knowledge of horror, I've got the strength of a superhero, and I've got the force within me. I was the closest in my round. I'm the one that deserves the shot at the finals more than all these contenders combined. A couple of you guys, you guys gotta get your stuff together because, um, I don't know, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you though, but I mean, hey man, all love. It's all love. You guys are going down. I'm going to be the new champion. I am getting my redemption. The outlaw's not here. Only the villain. And I'm here to prove that I am worthy of redemption. They're all in my way. So, basically, I gotta take them out. I gotta destroy them. Maybe I'll do a TKO. And if you have anything else to say against me, I might have my friend Pennywise or even Jigsaw pay you a visit. <laughs> uh. It's gonna be intense and awesome, and I'm going to come out victorious. This comes Sunday, beware. And when you mess with the bowl, you get the cliches. You think you can beat me? Cause I got a bucket of rotten and fresh tomatoes behind me. So bring it on. And to the rest of you, good luck. Let's bring it on. Always bet on red. What's going on everybody and welcome back to season one of Rotten or Fresh. That's right, we are already four episodes into this thing and Ryan and I can't believe how far we have come along. Man oh man, we are finally here to the redemption episode. It has come to this point where six lucky competitors are going to get their shot to get redemption. Let's just recap as to where we have gone to this point. 
Back in episode one, we saw Sean Chandler take that first spot in the championship match. All the way back in episode two, we saw our first technical knockout in Rotner Fresh history where Tyler Tompkins came in and cleared house, taking that second spot in the championship match. In the third episode, we saw it come down to the wire. Very, very close. But Zach Pope ended up taking that third spot. And in the most recent episode, again, a very close match. Griffin from Men's vs. Movies, who now he will take that fourth and final spot. That championship match is going to be a bloodbath on its own. But before that, we got a bloodbath right here. Let's introduce these six competitors. All the way back in episode two, put up a solid performance of 13 points, finishing in second place, finishing with one perfect score. We felt that was enough for him to come back and get a second shot. It's Cody Curtis. Cody, welcome to Redemption. What's going on, everybody? Cody Curtis here. I am super stoked. Ryan, Cody, thank you so much for inviting me back to have a chance to have the opportunity of redemption. Look, all you competitors are great, but let me tell you one thing. You ain't getting in my way anymore. But this is going to be a lot of fun. So whoever ends up on top, it's going to be fantastic. I like it, Cody. I like the enthusiasm. Our next competitor, back in episode three, he had a very strong performance of 25 points. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough to make it to the championship match. Not only that, he managed five perfect scores. You heard it, five. It's Jay Vaders. Jay, welcome to Redemption. Jay Vaders in the house. Yes, I won goddamn percent, but I'm back. And I'm coming for blood. So get fucking ready. I'm there to do this shit. I'm not even competing and I'm scared. Okay, in episode two, this next competitor, not he didn't put up the most amount of points. He only put up four, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't know his movies. He's got a lot of knowledge, and he's also a really cool guy. It's Jeff from Jafito's Movie Blogs. Jeff, welcome to Redemption. Hey, Cody. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, episode two was not a good round for me, but you know, Cody and I went up against the cheat the hack scumbag Tyler Tompkins. I don't know what he was doing, but to get that many perfect scores, I call shenanigans. He's not here today. It's time for me to get redemption. I like the attitude, Jeff. Our next competitor, back in episode one. Again, not the most points put up so far, only six points, but still, when it comes to comic book movies, this guy might know a little bit of everything. It's Matthew V. Haynes. Matthew, Welcome to Redemption. Yo, what is going on, guys? Matthew Vien's here, guys. I am so happy to be back here again for Redemption. All I know is that I was cheated in the first round. I have no clue what happened. I, I, I have no clue what happened. Seriously, I, I, I should have won that without a doubt. <laughs> but I'm happy to be here nonetheless, man. Um, not the best at this stuff, but I'm going to try my best in this time to see if I can come back on top. We're looking forward to seeing how you do, Matthew. And up next, in the most recent episode of Rotten or Fresh, not only was she our first female competitor, but she put up a solid performance of 21 points. Animation's her game, Rachel's her name. Rachel, welcome to Redemption. Hi, thanks for me, having me back. I'm really excited uh, to be back in the game, and I missed a Disney question last time, so that's very unlikely to happen again. So everybody should be, and I still made it to the finals. So. Uh, everybody should be concerned. I'm excited. Let's go. I'm liking the enthusiasm. And our final competitor, all the way back in episode one. He's announced himself as the villain for this episode, but he came in third place his first time around, and the departed question got him. But we've seen the play-along videos, and Ryan and I were more than impressed. We felt like he deserved another shot. It's Adam Daly from Almost Sideways. Adam, Welcome to Redemption. What's going on, guys? The villain is here. And even though there's some great competitors here, they're going to have to watch out for me because there's only one person getting redeemed today. And that is me because villains take stuff. And I'm taking this game hands down. I like the attitude, Adam. My name's Cody. I'm Ryan's brother. I'm hosting this Redemption episode. Let's not waste any more time. Let's play Rotten or Fresh. Round one, we like to call the free-for-all round. And here's how it works. Each of you are gonna get 10 movies out of the 12 movie categories for this episode. Once you are given your 10 movies and your movie, it is your goal to guess the Rotten Tomato score of that said movie perfectly. 
If you are able to do that, you will get two points. However, if no one is able to get the score, the person who is closest to the score without going over will receive one point. You will all have 20 seconds to come up with an answer, and once I call on you, please show your answer and say your answer to the camera at the same time. Your first category comes in the world of crime movies. Crime movies. Your film is The Town, 2010. Directed by Ben Affleck, starring Ben Affleck and Jeremy Renner. And Blake Lively. Oh. I, didn't, I, didn't hear, I didn't hear the movie. The movie is The Town. And I grew up in a town. And speaking of Ben Affleck, how did everyone like Justice League? Loved it. I, like it. I thought it was I'd very it, entertaining. Pretty good. I'd give it like a... I'd, I'd give it like, I didn't see it. I'd give it like a 6 out Five, of 10. 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. The villain, Adam Daly, what do you have? I have 83%. 83. Cody, what do you have? I have 88%. Jay, what do you have? I have my age, 94%. <laughs> Jeff, what do you have? 72%. Matthew V. Haynes. I put 56. And Rachel. I'm at 85. All right, and with that said, the person who is closest to the score is Cody Curtis. The actual score is 93%. Uh, one percent. <laughs> <laughs> one point to Cody. You did it on purpose. We move on. We move on to the world of comedies. And your film is Kindergarten Cop, 1990, Gosh. directed by Ivan Reitman and starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's not a too much. Fun fact. <laughs> you know, when I was in kindergarten, I was the kid that had the 64 pack of crayons. That was me. You're the person that we were all jealous of. Basically. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. We'll start with Cody. What do you have? I have 32%. Jay, what do you have? I put uh, 50, 50%. Jeff? 43%. Matthew? I put 76. Rachel? 35. And Adam? 64%, 64. All right, and the person who's closest to the score is Jay what? Vaders by one by one percent, fifty-one percent. Jay percent, One point to Jay. Our next category is sci-fi. Sci-fi. Your film is Starship Troopers, oh, nineteen ninety-seven, directed by Paul Verhoeven, starring Casper Van Dien and Neil Patrick Harris. You know, when Ryan first told me about this movie, the first thing that came to mind was the Star Fox game when I was a little kid. I just remember playing that game. It probably has nothing to do with the movie. Just ignore me. We can never ignore you. You have a beautiful voice. I appreciate voice. it. You have a beautiful voice. I, thank you. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Jay, what do you have? Uh... 68%, the percentage of uh, how sure I am. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, what do you have? 67%. Damn, that's a better Matthew. number. Matthew. <laughs> I put 80. Rachel. 53%. Adam Daly. 45%. 45. And Cody. 74%. All right, and the person who is closest to the score is Rachel. Yes. Not too far off, 63%. Uh... So, one point to Rachel. Good job. Yay. All right, and speaking of Rachel, we have animated movies next. Uh -oh. Pressure's on. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Your go. film uh -oh. is the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Oh, man. 2004. Ooh. Directed by Steven Hillingberg, starring SpongeBob and Patrick, of course. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Did pretty good. 
God, shoot. If you've done the most recent one, I didn't know that better. When it's all said and done, we all are goofy goobers. Five, four, three, of course, two, one, and stop. Jeff, what do you have? 83%. Matthew? 46. Rachel? Put 78. Adam? 66. Cody? 77%. And Jay? 73. Why? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> I like that attitude. The person who is closest to the score is Adam Daly. Uh, and not too far off. 69%. Uh, Very close, Rachel. One point to Adam. Uh, All right. <laughs> it's going around the board. We move Alrighty. on to Action Adventure. Action Adventure. Your film is The Born Supremacy. 2004, directed by Paul Greengas and starring Matt Damon. I will leave the impressions to Ryan. I'm so sorry. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. We'll start with Matthew. What do you have? I right, put 80. Rachel. Uh, 92 percent. Adam Daly. 82 percent. Cody Curtis. 86 percent. Jay. 87 percent. And Jeff. 72 percent. All right, and with that, the person who is closest to the score, and very close, was Matthew V. Haynes, 81%, Ooh. Matthew. Yeah. Super close, my I, friend. I knew so, that. one point. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> one point. Yes, uh, you were very close, too, Adam. So, that's one point to Matthew. Our next category is new releases. New releases. Your film is Atomic Blonde. Directed by David Leach. Starring Charlize Theron and James McAvoy. So this is a new release, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It is very new. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are funny. I try. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Ladies first. Rachel, what do you have? I have 58%. Adam. 73%. Cody. 76%. JV. Hey, 76%. Jeff. The answer is 42. I have no idea. And Matthew. I put 60. All right. It seemed like some people studied new releases because both Cody and Jay got the exact score. Yeah. 76 oh, yeah. percent. Two points oh, yeah. to the both of you. That's right. So smart. Well done. I get, I we move on wrong. to our I didn't think it was very... <laughs> we move on to our very first special category for this episode. Ooh. Robert Zemeckis. Robert Zemeckis. Your film is The Walk 2015. Directed by Zemeckis, of course, starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I think he walks in the movie, actually. What are we doing here? Does he really? He's putting the, I thought he was in a wheelchair. wheelchair. Um, yes, what you think it's Wouldn't rated. it be more of a compelling I film remember. if he was in a wheelchair? Ooh, he crawls alone. <laughs> he crawls. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Adam Daly, what do you have? 84%. 84. Cody. I also have 84%. Jay I also have 84%. Copycats, copycats. Jeff. I also, also have 84%. Oh, dear. Matthew, oh! Matthew V. Hayes. I guess I'm the only one with 25%. <laughs> <laughs> so. And Rachel. I put 80%, but maybe I didn't memorize it like everybody else. 
Hmm. Four people said 84%. A little tricky, but they're all right. It oh, is 84%. So right. two points oh, to Adam, Cody, Jay, and Jeff. Two points to all four of you. That's the first time in Rotten or Fresh history. Most of you got he it made right. history. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in the books. <laughs> Our next category is comic book movies. Comic book I think movies. I, right? I, think I, can. I think I can. Your film <laughs> is Hellboy 2, wow. The Golden I Army. Love oh. I love this one. Uh, Fun fact. 2008. This is this? Directed by this Guillermo is a del Toro, really starring Ron Perlman. Jeez. Oh, and a Hellboy. No this idea. is a really great movie. Whoa, there's a Hellboy? <laughs> and a Hellboy. <laughs> and a boy from Hell. It stars it stars Ron Perlman and a Hellboy? No there's way. Also two. <laughs> I've never seen it. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, and stop. Cody, what do you have? I have 84%. Jay Vaders. I have 87%. Jeff. I'm going way low, 36%. Matthew V. Haynes. 79%. Rachel. I have 78%. And Adam. 76%, though, it should be higher. And the person who is closest to the score is Cody Curtis. The exact score is 86%, Jay. I know. (laughs) That's another point for Cody. Stop it. Your next category... (laughs) Your next category is war films. War films. Your movie is The Dirty Dozen. 1967. Heard it's real dirty. Directed by Robert Aldrich, starring Charles Bronson. That's a Bond. And Lee Marvin. It's Charles Bronson. That's a Bond. <laughs> you know, when I first saw this movie, I couldn't help but thinking of the Cheaper by the Dozen movies. I like the second one more. Fun fact, it's a prequel. <laughs> <laughs> we have five, four, three, two... One and stop. Jay Vaders, what do you have? Um, I put 92, and if I'm 1% off, I'll kill you all. <laughs> Jeff. 89%. <laughs> Matthew V. Haynes. 87%. Rachel. 93. Adam Daly. 89%. And Cody. 91%. Cody. <laughs> well, oh well, Mr. Cody Curtis. That is the exact oh. score, ninety-one yeah. percent. Jay, looks like you're gonna have to kill everybody. <laughs> so close. That's two points for Cody. So. Close. All right, folks. Your final category here in round one is our second special category: Emma Stone movies. My girl. Emma Stone. No, she's mine. Your film is Aloha, oh, 2015. Aloha. Directed by Cameron Crowe, starring Bradley oh. Cooper and Emma Stone. That movie was Cody, that terrible. Is a low blow. Come on. I'm sorry, I'm just reading the question I have in front of me. That's an awful movie. It was my nickname. I've never been to Hawaii. It was my nickname in high school. Oh, no, that's it was. nice. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Jeff, we'll start with you. What do you have? Awful movie, 19%. Matthew V. Haynes. 20%. Rachel. 13. Adam. Mahalo, 19%. Cody. I also have 19%. And I Jay. also have 19%. Not one, fuckers. <laughs> well, would you look at that? You know, these four said the same number before and got two points, and we're going to have to do it again because that is correct. Adam, Cody, Jay, and Jeff, it is 19%. Well done. Two points to all four of you. Woo-hoo! All right, and with that, that concludes round one. Hey, Ryan, why don't we turn the tides? Why don't you give us the scores now after round one? Thanks, Cody. Where the hell am I? I should be hosting. 
I'm just kidding, guys. I'll be back for the championship match. Don't worry. This is just for now. But let's run down the score after round one. In first place is Cody Curtis with 10 points. In second place, right behind him, is Jay Vaders with 7 points. In third place is Adam Daly with 5 points. In fourth place is Jeff with 4 points. And tied down at the bottom, they got plenty of time to catch up. With one point apiece is Rachel and Matthew. Since Rachel and Matthew are tied, we gave the option to Rachel if she wanted to go before or after Matthew since she had the most points in her debut performance. And Rachel opted to go first. Round two, the solo round, and here's how it works. Contestants will get to choose two categories in this round. Once you are given your category, I will ask you three questions. If you're able to guess, the answer without needing multiple choice, you will get two points. However, if you opt to multiple choice, it goes down to one point. If you get your question wrong, however, you must choose an opponent to steal the question, and the same point value applies to them. You'll have 20 seconds to come up with an answer, and keep in mind, once a category has been chosen in this round, it is off the board. And another special thing to note, all 12 categories will be chosen in this round, so choose your categories wisely. The first two contestants, so the first two people that have the lowest scores in this round, will be our first two Rotten contestants. Rachel, you decided to go first, so please give me your first category. So I will pick Animated, and I'll pick Robert Zemeckis. You will choose your first one for now. Hopefully Zemeckis oh, oh. will be there when you come back. Oh, sorry, but I misunderstood. I will no, that's totally fine. Animated movies. Here we go. What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for Lady and the Tramp, 1955? Oh, gosh. Um, I guess I'll do multiple choice. 80%. 89%. 95%. 83%. You say it one more time. 80, 89, 95, 83. You have five. I'm going to say four, B. Three. That is correct for one point. <laughs> Second question. Which 2017 widely released, so it's out in theaters right now, animated movie has the highest score on Rotten Tomatoes? I mean, does Coco count? It does it, not. Okay. Because it's released in Mexico. That's why I um, emphasize widely released. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, hmm, shoot. Let me think. Widely released. Um, it's you been have such a five. Such a bad Four. year. Um, three. Hold two. On. I gotta have more time. One. Oh, I need an answer. Um, uh, I will. I'm sorry, Rachel. Okay. I'm sorry. Captain Underpants. That is gonna be. Captain Underpants is incorrect. Please choose your opponent. Um, I will. Uh, I will go with um Adam. Adam, this is a two-point steal. All right, I think I'm gonna go with Lego Batman. That is Crap. correct. Ninety-one percent. Two points for Adam. Joker's my hero. The Joker's Should've my multiple hero. multiple choice. <laughs> your final. Your final question, Rachel. Okay. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film The Box Trolls, twenty fourteen? Ooh, that one's a hard one. Uh, I'll do multiple choice. 68%, 78%, 75%, 70%. Hmm. I'll go with 78%. That is incorrect. Okay. Who do you choose to steal? Um, I guess I'll pick Jay. For one point, Jay. Um, what are the options again? Sorry. Six, 68, 78, 75, 70. 75? That is correct. One point steal. Yay! Well done. We move on to Matthew. Matthew, what's your first category? That will be comic book movies. Comic book movies. Here we go, Matthew. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Deadpool 2016? Uh, kind of, uh, multiple choice. 93%, 84%, 89%. 80%. Ah, I know it's in the 80s, but uh, 89. That is incorrect. Yeah. Who do you choose to steal? Uh, let's go with Jeff. Jeff, one point steal. Can I hear the options again? 
93, 84, 89, 80. I'll go with 84%. That's a one point steal. That is correct, Jeff. Next question. Which film in the Batman saga is rated an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes? Multiple choice, please. The Dark Knight Rises, Batman Returns, Batman 1989, or Batman the Movie? Damn it. Um, Batman... Five. 1989. That's incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Uh, it's Adam. One point steal, Adam. Batman Returns. That is also incorrect. Ah. We were looking for Batman the movie. Batman the movie. Your final question, Matthew. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Ghost Rider 2007? Oh, Multiple choice, please. 26%, 35%, 20%, 41%. I'm going to go with 20%. That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Uh, let's go with Cody. Cody for a one-point right. steal. All right. I believe the answer is A, 26%. You are correct, Cody. That's a one-point steal. Jeff, what is your first category? Uh, let me go with my girl, Emma Stone. Emma Stone movies. All right, Jeff. Here we go. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Paperman 2010? Uh, I don't need multiple choice. 32%, 26%, 43%, 39%. I'll go with 43%. That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Uh, I will go with... Jay. Jay, one point steal. Uh, what are the options again? Can you say it? Sorry. <laughs> 32, 26, 43, 39. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, 39? <laughs> that is also incorrect. We're looking for 32%. 32. That was my fourth Your guess. Sec <laughs> <laughs> Your second question, Jeff. What movie featuring Emma Stone is her lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Uh, easy, horrible movie, movie 43. No hesitation. Movie 43 is correct. Two points. Your final question, Jeff. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Birdman, 2014? Oh, shoot. I know it's up there. I'm gonna go with... Multiple choice, please. 90%, 98%, 92%, 95%. I'll go with 92. That is correct, one point. Nicely done, Jeff. Adam, please choose your first category. I'm going to go with Mr. Zemeckis himself. Robert Zemeckis. Here we go. That was a good strategy. I like that. Here we go. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Castaway 2000? Okay, well, I work for FedEx. I think this movie is overrated. I'm going to go with 90%. It's a good guess. I don't know if it was a guess, but it's correct. Two points. Yeah. Well done. Over. Second question. What is the Rotten Tomato score for I Want to Hold Your Hand and I Don't Want to? That's the, that's the movie. I promise. Can I get multiple choice, please? 81%, 89%, 77%, 84%. Oh, Four. Can I get Three. the options again? Two. 81, 89, 77, 84. Uh, 84? I don't know. I don't know. That is correct. Oh, one point. Damn it. <laughs> Nicely done. Jeez, Nicely so done. <laughs> I sweat bullets on that one. Your final question, Adam. Which Back to the Future movie has a score of 74% on Rotten Tomatoes? Um, Back to the Future 2. That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? I'm going to kick it over to Matthew. 
Matthew, one point steal. I'm, I'm so sorry, lost. just a two point well, steal. What was, the, what was the question? I'm sorry. This is for a two point steal. Which Back to the Future movie has a score of 74% on Rotten Tomatoes? The second one. That is incorrect. We were looking for Back to the Future 3. Uh. Back to the Future 3. We move on to Jay Vader's. Jay, what is your first category? I'll take uh, adult films. <laughs> I don't think that's a category, my friend. Oh, uh, then I will. <laughs> um, I'll, take, I'll take new releases. Okay, that is a category. Good. New oh. releases. Here we go. Jay, your first question. Not what right. is the Rotten Tomato score for The Big Sick? The Big Sick. Um, big sick. Hurts big, hurts sick. Uh, Five, four, three, two, one. Ninety-seven. And that's incorrect. Of course. It is. Who do you choose to steal? Uh, Matthew. Two point steal, Matthew. I'll I'll pick you next time. <laughs> Uh, am I am I allowed to choose multiple choice from that or just you I are guess? not? I'm sorry, you need to guess. Okay, well, uh, what was the movie? The Big Sick. Okay, Rotten Tomato score blah, 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 seventy six. That is incorrect, Jay. You were very close, my friend, by one point ninety eight percent. Okay, someone's ninety eight percent. I think I don't know what's happening here. Your second question, Jay. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Baywatch? Oh. Do they watch a lot of bays in that movie? I know they watch. Mm, multiple choice. 31%, 19%, 27%, 22%. Oh, sorry. I didn't, I didn't hear. Can you say it again? Sorry. Thir 31, 19, 27, 22. 27? That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, one point steal. Hey, can, told you, I told you, you I go back. <laughs> can you give them to me again? 31, 19, 27, 22. I'm gonna go with 31. That is also incorrect. We were looking for 19%. Uh, okay. 19%. Your Angel final question, either. Jay. What is the Rotten Tomato score for The Snowman? Uh, we are just talking about this movie. We uh, were. Uh, private conversation, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, multiple choice. 4%, 15%, 8%, 11%. you say that one more time? 4, 15 Eight, eleven. Is it fifteen? That is incorrect. I Who do you know choose to steal? Uh, Matthew. Matthew, one point steal. Oh. oh my lord, help me! What was the options? Four, fifteen, eight, eleven. I'm gonna go with eight. That is correct, Matthew. Mm -hmm. One point steal. That was Nicely good. Wow. The gods are blessing. Ah. All right, and Cody, please choose your first category. All right, my first category, let's go with crime movies. Crime movies for Cody and crime movies he will get. Your first question, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Dog Day Afternoon, 1975? Dog Day Afternoon, I believe that is 95%. And I believe you are correct. Two points. Nicely done. Second question, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Sugar Hill, 1994? Multiple choice. 36%, 28%, 39 29%, 20%. Is it B? That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Let's go with Rachel. Rachel, one point steal. So what was the question again? What is the Rotten Tomato score for Sugar Hill? And oh, and you didn't give... In multiple choice? I did. 36, 28, 39, 20. Never even heard of it. Um, 1994. 
36 percent and then sorry i wasn't paying attention 36 percent 36 28 39 20. you have five i'm 20. four that is a one point steal correct rachel nicely done <laughs> your That's final funny. question cody what is the rotten tomato score for la confidential 1997. LA Com LA Confidential is sitting very high with a very nice 99%. You know, Cody, it is nice. That is correct. Two points. Nicely done. Back to Rachel. What is your final category? I'll pick sports movies. Okay, sports worked for you last time. Let's see how it does this time. Okay. First question. What is the Rotten Tomato score for A League of Their Own? One of my favorites. Ooh, I have multiple choice. 84%. 87%, 78%, 75%. I'm say 84. That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Um, I'll pick Adam. Adam, one point steal. I love this. Can I get the options one more time, please? 84, 87, 78, 75. Uh, I love this movie. Uh, I'm going to go 78, 78. It's a good pick, Adam. That is correct. One point steal. Should be much higher. It should. It should. <clears throat> Your second question, Rachel. Which Airbud movie has the highest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's about dogs. I, I mean, I feel like it has. It's not the first one because well, that would be too easy. But um, I mean, it's, it can't be one of those. I'm going to say the first one. <laughs> there you go. Care. That's correct. <laughs> Two points. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Two points for Rachel. Your final question, Rachel. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film 42, 2013? Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I want multiple choice. 90%. 92%. 86%. 79%. I'm going to say 86. That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Um, I'll say Jay. Jay, this is a one-point steal. Can I hear the options again? 90, 92, 86, 79. 79? That's a one-point steal, Jay. Correct. Can I get two? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, Matthew, your final category, please. That will be sci-fi movie, uh, sci movies. All right. Going to the world of sci-fi, Matthew. Let's go on a ride. Here we go. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Memento 2000? Oh, I'm going to need a multiple choice for that. 88%. 77%. 92%. 80 percent I'm going to go with 88%. That is incorrect, Matthew. Who do you choose to steal? Uh, let's go to Jeff. Jeff, one point steal. Can I hear the options again? 88, 77, 92, 80. I'll go with 80. That is also incorrect. We were looking for 92. It's quite up there. Hmm. Second question, Matthew. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film The Fifth Element, 1997? Um, man, I just saw that today. Uh, can I get the uh, multiple choice, please? Sure. 72%, 55%, 81%, 60%. 72%. That is correct. One point. Yeah. Nicely done. Your final question, Matthew. Which Star Wars movie has the lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Uh, Phantom Menace. That is incorrect. I beg my pardon? That is incorrect, my friend. Who do you wow, choose to okay. steal? Um, let's go with uh, who I know here is a good Star Wars fan. Nah, that'll be easy for Jeff. Let's go to... Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's go to Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, this is for a two-point steal. So, does the, um, does the animated film count? Yes, they do. Okay, then I'm going to guess the Clone Wars, the animated film. There you go. That is correct. The Clone Wars, 19%. Jeff, what is your final category? Uh, let's go action-adventure. All right, action-adventure. Here we go. Jeff, 
What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film The Count on Monte Cristo, 2002? Uh, multiple choice. 85%, 62%, 79 percent 73 percent 79? That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? I will go with Cody. Cody, one point steal. All right, could I hear the options again? 85, 62, 79, 73. I'm gonna go with 82. That is also incorrect. We were looking for 73%, 73. Jeff, your second question. Which of the Die Hard movies has a 51% on Rotten Tomatoes? Ah. Uh. A good day to die hard. That is incorrect, my friend. Who do you choose to steal? Let's go with Matthew. Matthew, two point steal. Um, okay, what was the question again? Which of the Die Hard movies has a 51% on Rotten Tomatoes? The last. I need a title. I don't know the title. Die Hard 3? I don't know. I'm sorry, Matthew, yeah, I yeah. can't give it to you. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. We were looking for Die Hard with a Vengeance, and yes, I've seen the Die Hard movies. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Your final question, Jeff. What, what is the Rotten Tomato score for James and the Giant Peach, 1996? That's an action adventure film? Um, it is. <laughs> adventure, right, I, sort of. I, sort of an adventure I, I need film. multiple choice. 93%. 88%. 95 percent 80 percent 88 that is incorrect who do you choose to steal uh, i'm gonna stay away from rachel because animation is her strength i will go with jay jay this is a one point steal i know i um, might get hate for this but i hate james and the giant beach <laughs> i really hate is it is it a 95 that is also incorrect. Very close, but a 93%. Three, yeah. 93. Adam, please choose your final category. Uh, by my t counts, it's, I'm trying to figure out what categories are left. Um, man, not going to be my strong suit, but what the heck, I'm going to go with horror. Okay, horror movies. Here we go. Which film in the Saw franchise has the lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? <laughs> Perfect. I just did a ranking of this. Uh, that's going to be Saw <laughs> 3D, the final chapter. Looks like you, it paid off, because that is correct. Two points, Adam. Nicely done. Second question. <laughs> what is the Rotten Tomatoes score for Jeepers Creepers, 2001? Uh, Jeepers Creepers. Underrated. I like it. I like this one. Um... I'm going to go with uh, multiple choice, please. 45, 20, 34, 49. Uh, what the heck? 45, 45. That is a one point correct answer. <laughs> Nicely done. Holy cow. <laughs> Final question for you, Adam. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Rosemary's Baby? 1968. Uh, classic horror film I haven't seen. Uh. Go with, I gotta go multiple choice. That's only my chance here. 95, 92, 99, 88. Jeez. Uh, 98, 98 percent. That's incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Uh, let's go with Mr. Jeff Malicki on this one. Jeff, one point steal. Uh, could I get the options again? 95, 92, 99, 88. I'll go with 92. That is also incorrect. Adam, you were very close. 99. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, your final category. You have comedy and war left. Okay. Um, so no adults. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll take... Uh, I like to laugh sometimes. Let's go comedy. Okay, Jay is going with comedies. And here is your first question, my friend. Got it. What is the Rotten Tomato score for The Addams Family? And no, not that Adam, the movie. 1991. Oh, my God. Uh, the 
first one? Yes, 1991. Is it a 60%? That is correct. What? Two points. <laughs> Whoa, two what? points. Nicely done. Wow. Your second question, Jay. Which Paul Feig directed comedy film is his lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Is directed? Um, yes. Paul Feig... Sideways. Uh. Five, four, three. Is it the heat? Two. That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Um, Matthew. Matthew, this is a two-point steal. Okay, the question again. Which Paul Feig directed comedy film is his lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Okay, uh, Matthew Haynes will lose Redemption, directed by Paul Feig. You know, I haven't heard about that one, but um, unfortunately, <laughs> it is incorrect, my friend. <laughs> we were looking for unaccompanied minors. Oh, what? For the 30%. 30%. Hmm, interesting. All right. Jay, your second question. Which film in the Austin Powers franchise has the highest score on Rotten Tomatoes? The highest? Yes. Is it the first one, International Man Mystery? Yes, it is, my friend. That is two oh, points. Yeah. Nicely done. <laughs> Cody, unfortunately, you're stuck with war movies, my friend. I hope you're ready. Oh, let's do this. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Which famous, best-pictured, nominated war movie has a Rotten Tomato score of 72%? Can I get multiple choice? The Longest Day, Platoon, The Hurt Locker, American Sniper. Is it The Longest Day? That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Let's go with Matthew. Matthew, this is a one point steal. Okay, uh, can I get the options again? The Longest Day, Platoon, The Hurt Locker, American Sniper. American Sniper. That's a one-point steal, Matthew. Nicely well, done. okay. Cool. Second question for you, Cody. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Good Morning, Vietnam, 1986? Good Rest in peace, morning, Robin Williams. Vietnam. Multiple choice. 90%. 95%. 83%. 92%. Let's go with D. That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? All right, let's go with Rachel. Rachel, one point steal here. Okay, what's the question again? What is the Rotten Tomato score for Good Morning Vietnam? 90, 95, 83, 92. And can, I, I didn't hear his answer. Can you tell me or no? I can't, I'm okay. sorry. Um, I'll go with 83. That is also incorrect. We're looking for 90%. 90%. Your final question for you, Cody. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Gladiator 2000? Multiple choice. 94%. 82%. 80%. 76%. Let's go with 94%. That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? All right, let's go with Adam. Adam, one point steal. All right, can I get the options one more time? 94, 82, 80, 76. Okay, I'm sorry, I missed the second one. The second option, can you say it one more time? Sorry. 94, 82, 80, 76. I am not entertained. 82%. I'm not entertained. It's incorrect. I'm sorry. <laughs> we were looking for 76%. 76%. All right. Wow, that took a long time, but we are officially done with round two. Ryan, give us an update on everybody's score. At the end of round two, Cody Curtis is still maintaining his lead with 15 points. And now bumping up to second place is Adam with 14 points. 
In third place is Jay with 13 points. In fourth place, we have Jeff with 8 points. Since, guys, this is a six-person contest, we have to eliminate two contestants from the competition. And Rachel had seven points, and Matthew had four points. So, Rachel and Matthew are our first two rotten contestants. Every loss is a lesson, and I definitely learned a lot of stuff in this episode from the everyone else competing today. And um, I wasn't even really prepared, to be honest, so I take the loss. It's okay. Um, best of luck to everyone else competing, and have fun, man. I had a great time. Hope to be on very soon. Yeah, it was a tough episode, but it was fun to be on. I hope you're having me on again. And uh, good luck to uh, the remaining four. How are you guys liking the show so far? Is it entertaining for you? Let us know down below. We have four competitors left, and they are moving on to round three. We call it the listing round, and here's how it works. Your goal in this round is to list as many movies as you possibly can related to the category. And this category could really be about anything. It could be about an actor, an actress, a movie franchise, or basically anything. Your goal is to write as many films as you can. You'll have 30 seconds to write those films, and once time is up, I will ask each of you to show your answers and say them at the same time, and for each correct answer, you will get one point. And again, same as last round, the two lowest scores at the end of this round will be our next two rotten contestants, leaving us our final two. Yes. Gentlemen, here is your question. List as many films as you can. 30% and below on Rotten Tomatoes featuring the actor Adam Sandler oh, now Adam Sandler kind of a hit or miss kind of guy but he's, he's really funny when it comes down to it he has a lot of great movies and in fact there's 23 movies that these guys can choose from how many will they get let's find out We have five, four, three, two, one, pens down and stop. All right, we will start with Jeff. Jeff, please reveal your answers. I've got The Cobbler, Jack and Jill, and all his Netflix movies. <laughs> 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 so I'm only able to accept two of those. Both Fair enough. Uh, the Cobbler and Jack and Jill are on the list. So that is two points for Jeff. Nicely done. We move on to Jay. Please reveal your answers. I got Pixels, Jack and Jill, Mr. Deeds, Waterboy, The Do-Over, The Ridiculous Six, Fifty First Dates, The Cobbler, Just Go With It. And that's it. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> can you can you say them one by one, please, Jay? I'm sorry. Pixels. That is correct. Jack and Jill. That Mr. is correct. Mr. Deeds. No. Yes, that is on there. Water, I'm sorry. Yes. water boy. No water boy. The do over. No, the duo. Oh yes, I'm man. Yes, that is the our ridiculous name. six. No ridiculous six. Really? No nope, ridiculous I'm six. Sorry. That was a zero percent. Okay. Um, uh, eight crazy nights. He was the screenwriter on that film, according to Ryan. Um, no. Uh, eight crazy nights. Fifty first dates. Nope. Uh, just go with it. Okay, that is correct. And the cobbler. Okay, Jay, that is six correct answers, my friend. Whew. Nicely done. Six points for Jay. On to Adam. What do you have? I have Little Nicky. Yes. Jack and Jill. The yes. The Rover. Yes. And The Departed, just to cover my bases. <laughs> Unfortunately, the departed is not on there, yeah, Adam. But that is three—that yeah. <laughs> that is three correct answers for Adam. Nicely done. 
And finally, Cody. What do you have? All right, I have blended. Blend. Oh, shit. Yes, that is correct. Jack and Jill. Yes. Grown Ups. Yes. Grown Ups 2. Yes. And just go with it. Cody, that is five correct answers. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. And with that, that concludes round three. Ryan, give us an update on everybody's scores. At the end of round three, Cody Curtis is still in the lead with 20 points. In second place, right behind him, is Jay with 19 points. Unfortunately, we have to get rid of two more contestants. Adam Daly scored 17 points, and Jeff Meleke scored 10 points. So Adam and Jeff are our next two rotten contestants. Hey, I did better than last time, and I had a lot of fun. Thank you guys for inviting me back. First off, this would never have happened if Ryan was hosting. I am so disappointed in myself right now. Uh, but, ah. Adam Sandler, you have given us some crap piles, and you have really screwed me over, so I'm really mad, and I'm, oh my goodness. Thanks for having me again, guys. This was a lot of fun. I appreciate it. Could you guys think of any more Adam Sandler movies that they missed? Let us know down below. Cody and Jay, congratulations to the both of you. You have made it to the finals, but unfortunately, only one of you can get your redemption, and we're about to find out. In round four, the higher or lower round, and here's how it works. I will be asking three numbers from the both of you, ranging from 1 to 12. Each of those will be corresponding to a movie category. And the each number you chose is corresponding to a different point value. Your first question is worth one point, your second question is worth three points, and your third question is worth five points. I will say a movie title, and I will give you a per percentage of a film. It is your goal to tell me if that percentage is higher or lower than the actual Rotten Tomato score of that said film. And whoever has the most points at the end of this round will be crowned the redemption winner and we will go to sudden death if needed. Cody, since you are ahead, I will ask for your three numbers first. All right. Two, five, ten. Two, five, and ten. Jay, what are your three numbers? 64, 93, and 110. <laughs> no? Between 1 through 12, please. Oh, okay, sorry. That's <laughs> my mistake. <laughs> uh, 12, 11, 13, and 13. 12, 11, 13, and 1. Interesting way to put it, but I like it. All right, so Jay, since you are behind, we are going to start with you with your one-point question. Sure. Here we go. Mm -hmm. The number you chose is 12. And that corresponds to the category of new releases. Okay. New releases. Your film is The Glass Castle. The Glass Castle. Okay. 45%, Jay. Higher or lower? Fuck. Uh... Lower? That is incorrect, my friend. Damn. We were looking for 50%. It uh -huh. is higher. Okay. Shit. All right. So with that, we will stick with you okay. for now your three-point question. For your three-point question, you chose number 11. And that corresponds to the category of sci-fi movies. Sci-fi movies. Gotcha. Your film is Logan's Run, 1976. 71%, Jay. Higher or lower? Lower? That is correct. Oof. Three points to Jay. Nicely done. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And with that... We move on to Cody for his one-point question. Cody, the first number you chose was number two. That corresponds to the category of comedy. Comedy. Alrighty. <laughs> Your film is Tropic Thunder, 
2008. 80%, Cody. Higher or lower? Oh, it's higher. That is correct, but not by much. 82%. Wow. But it is correct. One point for Cody. Cody, you are still behind, so we're going to stick with you for your three-point question. All right. Cody, the second number you chose was number five. That corresponds to the category of comic book movies. Yes. Comic okay. book movies. Okay. Your film is V for Vendetta. Okay. 2006. 78%, Cody. Higher or lower? Lower. That is correct. <laughs> Nicely done. 73%. Wow. Oh, so that is three points to Cody. And with that... Comes down to Jay Vader's right here mm. for his five-point question. Yep. Jay, if you make it, you bounce it back to Cody. Okay. And if you don't, Cody is our redemption winner. Okay. Your five-point question. You chose number one. That comes in the category of Robert Zemeckis movies. Uh, Robert Zemeckis. Yeah, okay, okay. Your film. Okay. Is the Polar Express. Got it. 2004. Got it. Uh, Jesus. Uh. 70%, Jay. Higher or lower? The Polar Express. Uh, is it 70? I did. Is it lower? Jay? Yeah. You are correct! Oh, okay. That is correct! 55%! <laughs> wow, oh wow. It comes down to this. Uh, of course it does. <laughs> Cody Curtis. Mm. Yes? Your five point question. Mm. Basically, if you hit it, you win the game. If you don't, Jay Vaders is crowned the winner. Okay. For your five point question, you chose number 10. That corresponds to the category of action adventure. Okay. Action um, adventure. All right. Your all film right. is The Blues Brothers. All right. 1980. Okay. 84%, Cody. Higher or lower? Higher. Cody Curtis? That is correct! <laughs> that is correct! 85%! Not by much, but it is indeed, which means we have our winner. Congratulations to Cody Curtis. You are the winner of Redemption. Wow, oh wow, that was a tight one indeed. Jay? <sighs> ah, well at least this time it wasn't one goddamn fucking percent. <laughs> but yeah, it was a good match. Cody, just like your pal Zach Pope, you beat me, you beat me. You guys are awesome. Thank you for having me I'm on the Fresh. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. Jay, man, I'm so, I'm so upset, man. I'm so upset for you. But I'm also very happy for Cody Curtis, man. It seemed like you studied really hard, man. And it paid off. Let's hear it, man. Honestly, I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I'm very thankful for the opportunity to come back and all of the, the hard work. It's glad to see that it paid off. This is a really fun, it's a really intense game. You know, when it came down to it, this, I have never sweated so much in my entire life. This was, this was so intense right here. This is like Battle of Hacksaw Ridge material right here. Maybe not as intense, but this was fantastic. I'm just grateful for the opportunity and 
I guess I received my redemption. And to add on top of that, uh, Cody, you scored 29 points, which is the most in Rotner Fresh history. So that's something to look forward to and be excited about as well. Well, there you have it, guys. That is the redemption episode. I'm tired and I wasn't even competing, man. My name is Cody. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Let us know what you were thinking down below in the comments. Who did you think you had winning? Who were you surprised went out first? All that fun stuff. Let us know down below. And don't worry, Ryan will be back for the championship mass. I know you miss his face. I want to give all these great YouTubers a chance to shout out their social media pages because they all have great channels in their own right. And you guys should go check them out if you haven't already. Rachel Wagner. Rachel, where can we find you? Yeah, you can find me at Rachel's Reviews on YouTube and iTunes and on uh, social media at Smiling LDS Girl. So check it out. Matthew V. Haynes, where can we find you? Yeah, you can find me on YouTube at Matthew V. Haynes. Also on my social media platforms, also Matthew V. Haynes. Jeff, where can we find you? You guys can find me here on YouTube at Jafito's Movie Blog, on Facebook and at Jafito's Movie Blog, Twitter, Jafito's Blog, and on Stardust. Look at me for Jafito. Adam Daly, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me just loathing in self-pity right now. But on YouTube, you can find me at Almost Sideways. And on Twitter, you can find me at Adam Sideways. Again, this was a lot of fun. Thanks again for having me on, and I will be back. Yes, you will, man. I know you will. Jay Vaders, where can we find you? Hey, I'm Jay Vaders, J 1% Vaders, J Runner Up Vaders, J Can't Catch a Fucking Break Vaders. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, it was a lot of fun to be on the show, and yeah, I'm on YouTube. I do movie reviews, top tens, rankings, I do a shit ton of them. You can go check me out. I just reached a thousand subscribers. I'm on the trail to 2,000, so if you like movies and you like watching me talk, head on down and join the dark side. I like to hear that. And our new champion. Cody Curtis, where can we find you? All right, well, once again, I just want to give a big thank you to Ryan and Cody for allowing me to come back, allowing me to receive redemption. And I want to give a shout out to everybody else because everybody that participated in this game, they're awesome. They have their own unique personalities. But you guys can find me here on YouTube at just my name, Cody Curtis. If you search it, it should be the first name that pops up. You can also find me on Twitter at underscore Cody underscore Curtis. I love talking with everybody there. And I'm just here to talk movies, talk Star Wars, and talk everything cinematic so if you guys like what you've seen here hop right over to the channel and become part of the fray of nerds who love cinema thank you guys again so much for watching and this isn't even my channel but definitely check out ryan subscribe if you haven't already and all of his social media links are in the description box down below be sure to click that notification bell on the way out we'll see you guys in the championship match that's going to be intense bye